Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at an example of an induction proof. Suppose that we would like to show that the nth derivative of x times e to the x is equal to n e to the x plus x e to the x for all um, uh, positive integers greater than or equal to 1. OK, so we'd like to be able to show this. Now, in order to show this, that this works and holds, we notice that we have lots of different statements. We have a statement for every single positive integer greater than or equal to 1. So we could label these statements as like um, i1, i2, i for idea, but nonetheless, i1, i2, i3, and so forth forever. We like to show that they're all true. How do we do that? Well, the idea is, is that first we show that this guy is true, and then we show the general idea that if it's true at one place, then it must be true at the next. If we can show this general idea that it's true here implies that it's true in the next place, then what we've done is we've shown the first guy is true, then we've shown the second guy is true, then the then since this is true, that's true, and since this is true, that's true, and, and all of them are true forever. So we just have two things to prove, that the first guy is true and this general thing, that if it's true at one position, it must be true at the next. That's what induction is. This right here is the induction, of, induction hypothesis. If this would be true, so what we do is we assume the induction hypothesis and show that the next guy in the list would be true. Okay, so let's start with the first one i1. Well, that's in the case when n is 1, so a first derivative. First derivative of x times e to the x. Now, what is that? First derivative of x times e to the x, remember the product rule. So um, what we do is we take the derivative of x first, and then we take um, the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. Notice this is the derivative. Hey, that matches this exactly. So this guy is right, where this well, n is like the 1 here. OK, now let's assume that it's true at just some n. In other words, let's just assume the statement is true as given to us. Just assume it's true. And what we're going to do is we're going to show that it must be true when we replace the n with an n plus 1. To get n plus 1 e to the x plus x e to the x. So this statement right here must be true at um, at n plus 1. So that's what we'd like to show. So assuming this, can we somehow change this statement, which we know is true, so we assume this so we can use it. So if we assume something's true, that means we can use it. And using it, we're going to somehow use um, logically true ideas um, and principles to move from here to change this equation right here into this one. Can we do that? And if we've done that, we've shown this implication. We've shown that if this is true, then that's true. And then we would be done. So let's go ahead and see how we can turn this equation into this one. All right. So here we've taken n derivatives. Here we've taken n plus 1 derivatives. That just means we just need to take one derivative more right here and see if we end up getting this. Now, if we take one derivative more, we just um, we just can apply the, uh, um, let's just go for it, just thinking of this n as being a constant. So constant times e to the x derivative is just um, n e to the x. Here we just use the product rule again. Hey, we just did it over here. It's just that. So plus 1 times e to the x plus x e to the x. Now notice that we can factor an e to the x out right here of these two terms. And voila. Taking a derivative of this does give us this, which is precisely the statement that we have here with an n plus 1 plugged in. That's enough. We just showed that, that assuming this is true implies that that's true. And the simple implication here was we just used, just took a derivative, and we got it. So we're good. We're done. So we have just shown the base case, and we've just shown this. So we've just shown that it's true for all n. The beautiful thing about induction is we've can prove an infinite number of things by just proving two things.
Thanks for watching.